Hello guys, welcome to Labtex. My name is Nasser and uh, today I have a case study of R13 model. This is the HP motherboard. Last time I have uh, given you the suggestion of the same case of R62 and the problem was there exactly the same. When you plug in into DC jack, you will find out that uh, the light see here it's blinking and if I try to make it on I'll show you later on uh, my power supply it's not getting on so uh, you might have remembered that uh, last time I have told you about uh, the same case of uh, R62 that uh, if this sort of problem comes so you will look for the thermal section and where the problem will be consist and you can resolve uh, by replacing that thermal section's resistance and uh, also you can cut off the thermal section voltage the both things I have told you but in this model, model uh, uh, you will not find out the thermal section and uh, however the someone has changed the controller IO 3.3 and 5 volt regulator but no resolutions they have got so what is the actually cause to blinking this light let me tell you first come to this uh, first come and see in the diagram and uh, we will try to find out that what could be the possible causes uh, to this sort of problem and uh, how can we resolve uh, these types of problems so as I have told you uh, that uh, what could be the possible causes in uh, this R13 model and uh, where you can check the these types of voltages like uh, as I told you that uh, you have to check first uh, DC in voltage the step as I told you in the diagram that uh, how the voltages of uh, DC in the adapter voltage is transferring into the different different stage like uh, plus VA voltage plus VAD voltage and then it's going to the charging IC and the name is the DC in on the first pin number of the charging IC and this voltage is dropping here uh, before going before reaching to the charging IC and uh, if I cut off this uh, resistance then uh, no uh, fluctuation is taking place so everything uh, looks fine but however it is not getting on so when the 19 volt is dropping that could cause of dropping AC in as well you can see here it's also dropping the pin number 9 is the AC in it's completely dropping as you can see on the multimeter so in these types of case so it's not necessary that all the time the signal and the voltages could be fault so let's check uh, shorting so first of all the DC in area you have to check that uh, any MOSFET you have to check from I think it is charged only let's discharge it so it's okay now now what you have to check in the MOSFET you have to check from uh, source to drain and uh, source to gate and gate to drain these all three pins must not be uh, short together or there must be some certain value of uh, diode as it is inbuilt diode so uh, let me check all these components so no beeps on here see here this is PQ53 it's PQ53 and see the drain to source is zero this types of uh, shorting can cause uh, the same problem as I have uh, shown you in R62 motherboard uh, the same thing is happening here but the problem and the reason could be the different so you have not to uh, remember all you have not to remember the one uh, case study that uh, the, this sort of problem could be the same uh, reason the reason could be the different so this was the p channel and uh, as i have told you in in the schematic and this mosfet is 
uh, being reason to uh, drop the 19 volt fluctuation and uh, that is uh, being cause of AC in drop because the 19 volt is not proper. You always have to remember the P channel or and N channel whatever the DC in voltage and the charging section you have to check first there must not be bips on at all. Here you can see that there is a no bips on at all and uh, there is the good enough uh, resistance value of the diode. So let us see. It is okay now. Now you check the display. It is on. So as you have seen that it is getting on and uh, getting off just because there is no heatsink in this motherboard and uh, earlier the problem was uh, just due to uh, due to fluctuation of 19 volt it was not getting on. So I hope that you have understood the different types of uh, fluctuation and different types of uh, blinking light and uh, that could cause no, uh, not, no power on in the motherboard any types of motherboard. So different types of uh, problem, different types of uh, uh, solutions of each and every problem. The same types of problem you have seen in the R62 that light was blinking, there was the problem thermal IC and thermal section and you just cut off the thermal section and you have got the your motherboard on. And in this motherboard there was the shorting has taken place and the same uh, case that the light was blinking. Uh, has been done successfully. Thank you for watching this video.